When you look at our modern social media-driven culture people seem to have an inherent need to share everything. Our fake friends can make up false stories about their fake loves that seem like true life novels. They can share their fake happiness and fake accomplishments which gives them a false sense of real accomplishment. In the end, they don't have any friends and are lonely, unhappy, confused, and insecure. In the past there was a lot of effort needed to create propaganda for people to believe, however. Now we are in an age where all you need is a few computer programs that can edit pictures or videos and create fake realities for people to buy into. People just want fame but don't want to put in all the hard work it takes to actually accomplish something. In fact, most people don't know what true greatness is because fake greatness exists everywhere. Today's media is mainly concerned with hyping consumerism, conformity, and social acceptance rather than providing real content. The phrase self-esteem is used to describe the degree of pride a person has in himself or herself, and it has become a commonly used term in our society. The problem is that out of all the people we admire for their talent, achievements, influence, or fame only 1% of them are actually talented. It seems like most of them have been sucked into the lie that they are famous, when they actually aren't. Puppets to sell products using people's corrupted egos as a tool to do so. This is something many people never realize, because they never question what is real or not but instead live in a fake world where their favorite celebrities are really famous despite being anything but talented. When I was in college, I took a psychology class. In the textbook, there was a disorder called Narcissistic Personality Disorder. People with this condition are characterized by being self-centered and have an extreme need for admiration from others. Despite being intelligent people, they tend to lack regret or insight as a result of their unshakable belief in their own importance combined with an irrational sense of entitlement to special treatment. This is why we have so many people who are willing to believe in fake greatness even when they can tell something isn't right about it. The crazy part is that in an age of information, so many people don't know what real life is like because everything has been filtered and edited for their satisfaction. People are losing the ability to think for themselves and instead use media to guide them. People have been programmed into consumers who only want shallow forms of entertainment that have little or no substance. All our role models are fictitious characters in the movies we watch or people we've never met but follow on social media because they are famous and appear to have all the answers. Many people actually act like they're famous idols, even though they know nothing about them personally. In the end, fake greatness creates a world where more people want to become famous than actually great. This may lead to an era where every celebrity is a fake simpleton, who successfully managed to fool the public into thinking they were smart or talented or famous. What happens when people realize this? We have become accustomed to the idea of celebrity and fame being synonymous terms. In history, there were heroes that did their work in secret and never became famous but still saved so many lives and made the world a better place. All that is left for them are their memories, and most times nothing more than that because their work was done in the shadows. However, it should be noted that they had no desire to become famous or have their name remembered. What will happen when we become accustomed to the idea of fame being synonymous with celebrity? Will we become a society that makes heroes of celebrities and forget the true heroes? We have an obligation to remember our history. But what if our history becomes replaced with lies?